Sometimes, it's the little things that make all the difference. Yes, when compared to last year's Pokemon Sun and Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon more closely resemble enhanced third versions like Platinum and Crystal than they do full-on sequels like Black 2 and Y2. However, numerous appreciable changes like more Pokemon, and a whole new dimension to explore combined to make the new Ultra versions a bigger, better, more fun and fuller experience than Sun and Moon. Immediately, Pac-Man Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon pleased me with small changes, like a more brightly colored UI with a quick way to save, and also gratefully took away some of the slow dialogue that Sun and Moon suffered from in the first few sequences. I met and battled with starter Pac-Man noticeably faster than I had in Sun and Moon, and was on my way to explore the markedly more colorful Melamel Island in no time at all. Of course, there's still plenty of tutorial. It's a reoccurring shame there's no way to indicate to a Pokemon game that you know what you're doing and don't need to learn how to throw a Pokeball for the 15th time. That said, there are a lot of new things to learn about in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon even for long-time Pokemon players, and these tutorials never felt too long or overbearing. Learning how to surf and perform tricks on a Mantine was a cinch, and the new battle agency at the Festival Plaza, yes, the somewhat controversial online interaction tool is back, took no time to learn and get into.